Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to create an XML document and print it to the console as well as write it to a file using a module called eTree. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the PyDev plugin installed on Eclipse. And if you're not sure if you have it, uh, well if you don't see PyDev right up here then you probably don't have it. So what you're going to do is go to Help and then Eclipse Marketplace and simply type in PYDEV and search for it. Okay, so once you have your PyDev plugin installed, we can go ahead and create a new PyDev project. So I'm going to say File, New, and I have PyDev project up here. If you don't see it, then what you might want to do is say Other, and you'll find it under PyDev. Okay, so PyDev project, and I'm going to call this XML building. I'm working with Python 2.7, and I'll just go ahead and hit finish on this. And the next thing I'm going to do is right click on my project and say new PyDev module. So I'm going to make my package name be Firebox Training. And I'm going to call this first eTree example. Okay, so I'll just choose empty here for the template. And here we have it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is perform my imports. I'm going to say from xml.etree.elementtree import element tree. And we're going to do the same thing but import just element. So the way I'm doing this import now I won't have to fully qualify element tree or element. Okay, so it's going to save me a lot of typing. The other thing I'm going to do is say import xml.etree.elementtree as, and I'll just give this an alias as etree. So when we're building an XML document, we want to uh, make sure that we have a root element. Okay, so now let's take a look at the XML document that we want to build. Here's the XML that I want to build. Notice that my root tag is person. It also happens to have an attribute called ID with a value of 123. The person tag has a child tag called name a name has a text node that says Julie. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, we've determined that person tag is our root. So I'm going to say root equals element. Anytime we say the word element, when we use this element constructor, it just means a tag. Okay, so we'll do that. And now we want to build our tree object, our element tree. So we'll see, we'll say tree equals element tree and then we pass in root. So that is the most basic XML document. I mean right now it's just going to uh, look like this. Okay, but we want to build this a little bit further but before we build it further let's go ahead and splash to the console what we've got. Okay, so I'm going to say eTree, which is this alias right up here, dot to string, passing in my root. Now that, this line right here returns a string, so I want to print it out. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. When I run this, I'll run this as a Python run, and then we hit OK, and this is our result. So that looks good so far. Let's build this tree a little bit more. I'm now going to create a tag. For name, that child node of name. OK, so I'll actually give this a variable called name just to make it easy on us. And that is an element. And we want to say root dot append name. So we're appending the name 
onto the root. Let's run this one more time. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so I have a variable by which I can reference this. So now if I say name.text equals Julie, it fills in that text for me. Now the last thing we want to do here is give an attribute. And the way we set attributes is we decide which tag we're working with. Okay, so in our case, it is the root tag where we have that attribute called ID. So I'm going to say root dot set. Notice we can pass in a key and a value. So the key is going to be ID and the value will be 123. We run this now and that looks pretty good. So we've splashed this to the console and now we can also print this to a file. Okay, so the way we do that is we say tree. So tree is our tree element, our element tree I should say. So if I say tree.write, I can pass in my file name. I want to say open and I'm going to be opening up, we'll just call this person.xml and of course we want to open up this file in write mode so we do that. Okay, so this is going to be relative to the location of this file. If I wanted to give a more absolute path, I could do a raw string like this, so R right before the quotes, and then, you know, this would place it directly under my C drive. Okay, so let me go ahead and run this. Looks good. Now I'm going to make sure that it actually exists on the operating system level. And here's our person.xml file sitting under our C drive. Let's double click on it to make sure it's there. There it is. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.